So I've moved most of the pots from where they were, put some up on the rock wall, others elsewhere. The tree trunk is almost dead. <laughs> We're getting there. I will poison it one more time, but um, it's time to start planning out what we're gonna do right here. And I am actually going to draw it out, really plan it, uh, as I have not really done <laughs> consistently with any of my garden beds. This one, we're going to, and it's going to be fabulous. Uh, one of the things we're gonna utilize is this little guy right here. I'll try to remember to put the name uh, in in right here, but he's a volunteer from this guy that we chopped down, but we didn't kill. And I'm kind of glad we didn't kill him because um, I do love him and he gets the most delightful purple flowers. Uh, I am going to trim up this mess though. It's out of control. Um, but I didn't like the way that this one was growing and the way it was doing. And so we're going to get on top of that one. I do want to keep it though now. Uh, but I also want to keep this guy, but not right here next to the pathway. So we're going to dig him up and move him possibly over into that corner, uh, or maybe like somewhere in the middle. I don't know. We'll see, but that is definitely, uh, what we're going to be working on today. There was a windstorm in the forecast and it looks like it's showing up. Here we go. I do love a good windstorm. Clears out the air. Yikes. It should only last a couple hours and then when it's done, um, it's supposed to be just so nice out here. So I will come out and uh, work on some more gardening stuff. Yeah, stay tuned. Gardening video coming soon. I'm going back in the house. I'm just doing this by hand. Kind of a pain, but it's got to get done. And sometimes that's just the way it is. You just have to just get it done. Unfortunately, they have set seed. So this will be a continuing battle. But I'm hoping to just like really... Um, salt or something this whole strip here on the the neighbor side so that maybe they don't come back next year but I will have to try again in the spring to really kill all of this such a pain that's one of the problems with living in between two apartments sometimes you'll get people that really care most times you won't so you can see I've made some serious progress over there. I've also trimmed up all of this vine that's hanging over here on the sidewalk. So now to sweep all this up and all the weeds that I've pulled, there's all the mess I've made over here as well to sweep up. Still a long ways to go, but we've at least got the top half done. Some of these weeds, the only way I'm gonna be able to get them is to go on my side of the property and just pull from there and hope that I don't drop too many seeds into my own flower beds as I'm doing it. I'll pull as much out of this as I can, spray it like crazy, and then call it good until spring. There are also these weeds over here. These are goat heads. They are the devil that himself. Uh, definitely gonna grab all these up before they completely dry out and we are stepping on goat heads for the rest of the year. All right, you'll hear the neighbor kids running around chasing cats over there. Um, look how much better that fence looks. Isn't that wonderful? It is ready to be bedecked with dolls and toys for the uh, island of lost, forgotten, and haunted toys. That will be happening on our other channel, our main channel, The Frugal Family. Something I also need to do is trim up this pine tree or spruce tree or whatever the heck it is. Uh, it is getting a little bit too tall and we don't wanna have to mess with it getting to the lines. So I will take my uh, ladder and my new long loppers and chop, chop it a bit, which I don't necessarily love the look of when we do it that way, but it's kind of a, a must do. I am gonna look up uh, potential topiary designs for that tree. We didn't plant it there. It was here when we moved in and I've just been trying to work with it. Obviously that was not a good place to plant it. Can you imagine if I hadn't have trimmed up the trunk like that, how huge that would be? <laughs> anyway, so I am gonna trim up the trunk for starters and then look up some ideas for how to shape the top of it. 
I've transplanted several things over here. Finally got the hollyhocks in, my mini roses. One of them is over there in the corner. I don't know if my John F. Kennedy rose is gonna make it. Uh, after I transplanted them, we had a couple of really warm days. I didn't keep them moist enough, so here's hoping. Uh, but overall, most of the transplants look all right. I mean, they're, they're, it's gonna be a while before they look amazing, but hopefully at least the roots will survive and then next year we'll see them really bounce back. I've gotta finish weeding this bed. There's not much left, but just a little bit of bindweed here and there to fight with. Then I will weed over here, which definitely needs it. And I'll be planting some cone flowers in here, which I think will be lovely, and adding a couple more peonies. Going to weed and spray this bed uh, and add in more mulch and a couple of flower pots, or most likely uh, rather just Halloween decorations in this area because it's not anything I'm going to be doing anything with. There's not gonna be any planting. Remember this bed is one we're just trying to kill because of all the weeds that are in it. And then next year, uh, either summer or fall, we will try to do something more here. But uh, for now, yeah, we'll pull what weeds we see and then spray. We will cover it with still more cardboard and bring in some mulch to make it at least look prettier and just go Halloween on it. Then I finally got this corner done. There's a hollyhock there in the corner and a mini rose down there. I will also be adding in some Shasta daisies. Uh, this bed definitely needs weeding. I'm emptying out that pot that I had there in the corner. It was an experiment. It just didn't work. So we're going to use up the soil that's in it, uh, dumping it over here to build that up. Uh, we're going to weed this area, pull that pot out, and work on a shape of some kind with uh, this evergreen here. Lots of weeds to pull. I've got pots moved over into here, but the idea is I'm gonna bring in more soil and top this bed off, bring it up to a level with the, the rocks around it and add in a lot more uh, flowers and plants here. Things to move around in here, going to pull these Shastas and move some of them back into this corner and others elsewhere in the garden. Need to deadhead the snapdragons. We'll get at least one more flowering from those. The other uh, JFK roses are there in the corner. Hopefully those will make it. Gonna add in a couple more things. That Palargonium, known here as Geranium, is going to get potted up and moved indoors. Don't know if you knew but um, you can actually pot them up, your geraniums or pelargoniums, and take them indoors. You can also take cuttings of them, same, you know, the same way as you do with like succulents, and propagate from them that way. So I am going to take that one whole, pot it up and put it in the house, and then from a couple of the other uh, geranium, pelargoniums that are out here, uh, I will take some cuttings and attempt to start some more plants that way so that we have them in the spring. Because here in Utah, uh, they do freeze and die outside um, in the winter, but it'd be nice to not have to buy more of them next year. I have gotten the weeding done in all of that bed, the corner bed, and this bed. I still need to do that area over there, but I'm going ahead and watering over there and soaking the plants that are there. I'm going to chop down the hollyhocks and harvest the seeds to sprinkle about in the backs of these gardens as, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully some additions to our height in the gardens. Uh, but yeah, with the soil uh, loosened up with the watering, it'll be a lot easier to get to um, those ones. And my hands are really starting to hurt. I do have some pretty severe arthritis, so that will definitely help. Hello. And then there's my sweet Mimi massaging my poor crunchy hands. With um, dental smelling hand cream. <laughs> it smells like the strawberry tooth cleaner at the dentist. Yummy, huh? Doesn't it? Yeah. How sweet are my amazing kids? It feels kids. good and it smells like the dental <laughs> it is some of the lotion from the mystery boxes from this weekend. Yeah. And look how weird the lid looks. It's kind of cool, huh? Uh-huh. Oh. Now does your hand feel good? Definitely better. I think this is how our teeth feel when the thing is on. <laughs> 
and Mimi is helping me with the rocks. Let's just set it down right here on top of those two. Right here? Yep, but straighten it out probably. Okay. Yeah, thank you. My amazing Lulu has brought all of this for me from out in the um, little back, out the patio. There are things of dirt from uh, plants that didn't quite work out, but this is all good soil that I bought this spring. So look, there's a little lettuce. <laughs> Oh, right there. How cute is he? Hello, lettuce. Uh, we'll probably just go ahead and, and eat him because I don't plan on having him continue growing in there. Uh, but what I'm going to use or what I'm going to do with this is dump all this dirt out in here so that I can move that little tree over here. Um, I've decided it's going to live right there. And you can see I've started building up um, that rock situation with help from the kids and then this one here will fill in also with some of the potting soil i will be picking up more potting soil as well but uh yeah so we'll have the tree thing there and um probably shastas and other things right there but there's just no way i could do all this without help from my fabulous babies the other thing uh, in this wheelbarrow that Olivia brought out is toys because I have gotten absolutely enough done that we can start putting toys. In fact, I found a Barbie out on the driveway and went ahead and put her on the trellis because why not? <laughs> <sighs> there is still so much with the yard that I want to do, but I'm... I'm not waiting any longer we are at the almost end of september it is time but what i am going to do is be kind of careful with what i'm putting up so that i still have access to all of the gardens um, throughout the fall this year's yard display will be a little bit different i am not probably going to have much going on uh, on the lawn until like the week of Halloween because I do want to be able to still have this you know get mowed and and tended and stuff like that so stay tuned we'll we'll wrap up today's efforts here in just a little bit and then <laughs> Halloween all right there's Lulu she is dumping some of the dirt for me into these this kind of stuff is still too heavy for me to be doing according to the physical therapist so amazing Lulu is doing that for me thank you so much what's that well that weird weird that it would smell like dirt and then will you get um the other ones and let's let's dump them into this spot here and kind of over in this area because we will be planting some other perennial plants in here hello there how are you fantastic thank you okay here comes lou um let's dump it into that which we probably should add more rocks to it but we'll one thing at a time. <laughs> it's pretty compacted. Um, let's just break it up a little bit and then the rest of it can just go over in that area. There's shells in it. Can I help smoosh it? Yeah. I have the best helpers. So yeah, just smoosh it up into there and some can go in the corner. Um, but also just like over in here, I've been putting like all the stuff from the things I've chopped as I've been deadheading and pruning and whatever, just piling it all into here. This will all degrade and um, it like a good mulch and end up being fabulous soil as we work to develop this bed, which is gonna be so fantastic. I know you, you all just can't see it yet because you don't, you can't see into my head, weird. Um, <laughs> but it's going to be amazing. You'll see. It is so important to rest, to listen to your body, but it's also incredibly frustrating. Every day I feel my body deteriorate just a little bit more, you know, um, tired more often, little tiny things that are just barely 
a little more difficult. Hoping that somehow we'll end up back in remission with the RA, if you wonder what I'm talking about. It's rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune condition. My garden, I love my gardens. I do. And it is great exercise. And that is one of the most important things you can do in the treatment of RA. But it also is so incredibly difficult. I am going to be looking into some modifications, different things I can do. Yes, I'm obviously having the kids help. Um, but even so, it's just getting so difficult. Frustrating. But we're going to keep going and doing the best that we can within our limits. And it helps knowing that I'm headed to Disney World in 10 days as of this recording. That helps a lot. And sitting here watching Midsummer Murders. That also helps.